how the alphabet was made. The week after Tafemai Metalumai, we will still call her Taffy, best beloved, made that little mistake about her daddy's spear and the stranger man, <coughs> the picture letter and all, she went carp fishing again with her daddy. Her mummy wanted her to stay at home and help hang up hides to dry on the big drying poles outside their Neolithic cave. But Taffy slipped away down to her daddy quite early and they fished. <coughs> Presently she began to giggle and her daddy said, don't be silly child. But wasn't it inciting, said Taffy. Don't you remember how the head chief puffed out his cheeks and how funny the nice stranger man looked with the mud in his hair? Well do I, said Tagumai. I had to pay two deer skins, soft ones with fringes, to the stranger man for the things we did to him. We didn't do anything, said Taffy. It was Mummy and the other Neolithic ladies and the mud. We won't talk about that, said her daddy. <coughs> Let's have lunch. Taffy took a marrow bone and sat mousy quiet for ten whole minutes while her daddy scratched on pieces of birch bark with a shark's tooth. And then she said, Daddy, I think of a secret surprise. You make a noise, any sort of noise. Ah, said Tegumai. Will that do to begin with? Yes, said Taffy. You look just like a carp fish with its mouth open. Say it again, please. Ah, 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 said her daddy. Don't be rude, my daughter. I'm not meaning rude really and truly, said Taffy. It's part of my secret surprise, think. Do say ah, Daddy, and keep your mouth open at the end and lend me that tooth. I'm going to draw a carp fish's mouth wide open. What for? said her daddy. Don't you see? said Taffy, scratching away on the bark. That will be our little secret surprise. When I draw a carp fish with its mouth open in the smoke at the back of our cave, if mummy doesn't mind, it will remind you of that ah noise. Then we can play that it was me jumped out of the dark and surprised you with that noise, same as I did in the beaver swamp last winter. Really? said her daddy, in the voice that grown-ups use when they are truly attending. Go on, Taffy. <coughs> oh, bother, she said. I can't draw all of a carp fish but I can draw something that means a carp fish's mouth. Don't you know how they stand on their heads, rooting in the mud? Well, here's a pretense carp fish. We can play that the rest of him is drawn. Here's just his mouth. And that means, ah. And she drew this. That's not bad, said Tugumai and scratched on his own piece of bark for himself. But you've forgotten the feeler that hangs across his mouth. Oh, but I can't draw, Daddy. You needn't draw anything of him except just the opening of his mouth and the feeler across. Then we'll know he's a carp fish, cause the perches and trouts haven't got feelers. Look here, Taffy. And he drew this. Now I'll copy it, said Taffy. Will you understand this when you see it? And she drew this. Perfectly, said her daddy. And I'll be quite as surprised when I see it anywhere as if you had jumped out from behind a tree and said, ah. Now make another noise, said Taffy, very proud. Yah, said her daddy, very loud. Hmm, said Taffy. That's a mixy noise. The end part is ah, carpfish mouth. But what can we do about the front part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ah, yeah. 
It's very like the carp fish mouth noise. Let's draw another bit of the carp fish and join him, said her daddy. He was quite incited too. No, if they're joined, I'll forget. Draw it separate. Draw his tail. If he's standing on his head, the tail will come first. Besides, I think I can draw tails easiest, said Taffy. Oh, good notion, said Tagumai. Here's a carpfish tail for the yer noise. And he drew this. I'll try now, said Taffy. Remember, I can't draw like you, Daddy. Would it do if I just draw the split part of the tail and a sticky down line for where it joins? And she drew this. <coughs> Her daddy nodded, and his eyes were shiny bright with excitement. That's beautiful, she said. Now make another noise, daddy. Oh, said her daddy very loud. Oh, that's quite easy, said Taffy. You make your mouth all round like an egg or a stone. So an egg or a stone will do for that. You can't always find eggs or stones. We'll have to scratch around something like one. And he drew this. My gracious, said Taffy, what a lot of noise pictures we've made. Carp mouth, carp tail and egg. Now make another noise, Daddy. Shh, said her Daddy and frowned to himself. But Taffy was too incited to notice. That's quite easy, she said, scratching on the bark. Eh, what? said her daddy. I meant I was thinking and didn't want to be disturbed. Was the noise just the same? It's the noise a snake makes, daddy, when it is thinking and doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's make the shh noise a snake. Will this too? And she drew this. There, she said. That's another surprise secret. When you draw a hissy snake by the door of your little back cave where you mend the spears, I'll know you're thinking hard and I'll come in most mousy quiet. And if you draw it on a tree by the river when you're fishing, I'll know you want me to walk most, most mousy quiet so as not to shake the banks. Perfectly true, said Takumai. And there's more in this game than you think. Taffy, dear, I have a notion that your daddy's daughter has hit upon the finest thing that there ever was since the tribe of Tagumai took to using shark's teeth instead of flints for their spearheads. I believe we've found out the big secret of the world. Why? said Taffy, and her eyes shone too with incitement. I'll show, said her daddy. What's water in the Tagumai language? Ya, yeah, of course. Well, and it means river too, like Wagai Ya, the Wagai River. What is bad water that gives you fever if you drink it? Black water, swamp water. Yo, of course. Now look, said her daddy. Suppose you saw this scratched by the side of a pool in the beaver swamp, and he drew this. Carp tail and round egg. Two noises mixed. Yo! Bad water, said Taffy. Of course I wouldn't drink that water because I'd know you said it was bad. But I needn't be near the water at all. I might be miles away, hunting and still, and still it would be just the same as if you stood there and said, go away Taffy or you'll get fever. All that in a carp fish tail and a round egg. Oh daddy, we must tell mummy quick. And Taffy danced all round him. Not yet, said Tagumai. Not till we've gone a little further. Let's see. Yo is bad water, but so is food cooked on the fire, isn't it? And he drew this. Yes, snake and egg, said Taffy. So that means dinner's ready. 
If you saw that scratched on a tree, you'd know it was time to come to the cave. And so would I. My winky, said Tagumai, that's true too, but wait a minute. I see a difficulty. So means come and have dinner. But show means the drying poles where we hang our hides. Horrid old drying poles, said Taffy. I hate helping to hang heavy, hot, hairy hides on them. If you drew the snake and egg, and I thought it meant dinner, and I came in from the wood and found that it meant I was to help Mummy hang the hides on the drying poles, what would I do? You'd be cross, and so would Mummy. We must make a new picture for show. We must draw a spotty snake that hisses, shh, shh, and we'll play that the plain snake only hisses, sss. I couldn't be sure how to put it in the spots, said Taffy. And perhaps if you were in a hurry, you might leave them out, and I'd think it was so when it was show, and then Mummy would catch me just the same. No, I think we'd better draw a picture of the horrid high drying poles, their very selves, and make quite sure. I'll put him in just after the hissy snake. Look. And she drew this. Perhaps that's safest. It's very like our drying poles. Anyhow, said her daddy, laughing. Now I'll make a new noise with a snake and drying pole sound in it. I'll say, shy. That's to go my for spear, Taffy. And he laughed. Don't make fun of me, said Taffy, as she thought of her picture letter and the mud in the stranger man's hair. You draw it, Daddy. We won't have beavers or hills this time, eh, said her Daddy. I'll just draw a straight line for my spear. And he drew this. Even Mummy couldn't make that for me being killed. Please don't, Daddy, it makes me uncomfy. Do some more noises. We're getting on beautifully. Ahem, <coughs> said Tagumai, looking up. We'll say shu. That means sky. Taffy drew the snake and the drying pole, and then she stopped. We must make a new picture for that end sound, mustn't we? Shu, said her daddy. Why, it's just like the round egg sound made thin. Then suppose we drew a thin round egg and pretend it's a frog that hasn't eaten anything for years. No, no, said her daddy. If we drew that in a hurry, we might mistake it for the round egg itself. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll open a little hole at the end of the round egg to show how the O noise runs out all thin. O. Oh like this. And he drew this. Oh, that's lovely. Much better than a thin frog. Go on, said Taffy, using her shark's tooth. Her daddy went on drawing, and his hand shook with incitement. He went on till he had drawn this. Don't look up, Taffy, he said. Try if you can make out what that means in the Tagumai language. If you can, we've found the secret. Snake, pole, broken egg, carp tail, and carp mouth, said Taffy. Shoo-ya! Sky water, rain. Just then a drop fell on her hand, for the day had clouded over. Why, Daddy, it's raining. Was that what you meant to tell me? Of course said her daddy. And I told it to you without saying a word, didn't I? Well, I think I would have known it in a minute, but that raindrop made me quite sure. I'll always remember now. Shuya means rain, or it is going to rain. Why, daddy, she got up and danced round him. Suppose you went out before I was awake and drawed Shuya in the smoke on the wall. I'd know it was going to rain, and I'd take my beaver skin hood. Wouldn't Mummy be surprised? To 
Gumai got up and danced. Daddies didn't mind doing things like that in those days. More than that, more than that, he said, suppose I wanted to tell you it wasn't going to rain much and you must come down to the river, what would we draw? Say the words in Tagumai talk first. Shuya las ya moru. Sky water ending, river come to. What a lot of new sounds. I don't see how we can draw them. But I do, but I do, said Tagumai. Just attend a minute, Taffy, and we won't do any more today. We've got shuya, all right, haven't we? But this las is a teaser. La, 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 and he waved his shark tooth. There's the hissy snake at the end, and the carp mouth before the snake, us, us, us. We only want la, la, said Taffy. I know it, but we have to make la, la, and we're the first people in all the world who've ever tried to do it, Taffy my. Well, said Taffy, yawning, for she was rather tired. Las means breaking or finishing as well as ending, doesn't it? So it does, said Tagumai. Yo las means that there's no water in the tank for mummy to cook with. Just when I'm going hunting, too. And shy las means that your spear is broken. If I'd only thought of that instead of drawing silly beaver pictures for the stranger. La, 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 said Tagumai, waving his stick and frowning. Oh, bother. I could have drawn shy quite easily, Taffy went on. Then I'd have drawn your spear, all broken, this way. And she drew this. The very thing, said Tagumai. That's la, all over. It isn't like any of the other marks, either. And he drew this. Now for ya. Oh, we've done that before. Now for maru. Mum, 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 mum. Shuts one's mouth up, doesn't it? We'll draw a shut mouth like this. And he drew this. Then the carp mouth open. That makes ma, ma, ma. But what about this thing, Taffy. It sounds all rough and edgy, like your shark tooth saw when you're cutting out a plank for the canoe, said Taffy. You mean all sharp at the edges like this, said Tagumai, and he drew this. Exactly, said Taffy. But we don't want all those teeth, only put two. Well, I'll only put one, said Tagumai. If this game of ours is going to be what I think it will, the easier we make our sound pictures, the better for everybody. So he drew this. Now we've got it, said Tagumai, standing on one leg. I'll draw them all in a string like fish. Hadn't we better put a little bit of stick or something between each word so as they won't rub up against each other and jostle, same as if they were carps? Oh, I'll leave a space for that, said her daddy. And very incitedly, he drew them all, without stopping, on a big new bit of birch bark, like this. Shu ya las ya maru, said Taffy, reading it out, sound by sound. That's enough for today, said Tagumai. Besides, you're getting tired, Taffy. Never mind, dear. We'll finish it all tomorrow, and then we'll be remembered for years and years after the biggest trees you can see are all chopped up for firewood. So they went home, and all that evening, Tagumai sat on one side of the fire, and Taffy on the other, drawing yars and yos and shoes and shies in the smoke on the wall, and giggling together, till her mummy said, Really, Tagumai? You're worse than my Taffy. Please don't mind, said Taffy. It's only our secret surprise, Mummy dear, and we'll tell you all about it the very minute it's done. But please don't ask me what it is now, or else I'll have to tell. 
So her mummy most carefully didn't. And <clears throat> bright and early next morning, Tugumai went down to the river to think about new sound pictures. And when Taffy got up, she saw Ya Las, water is ending or running out, chalked on the side of the big stone water tank outside the cave. Hmm, said Taffy. These picture sounds are rather a bother. Dad is just as good as come here himself and told me to get more water for Mummy to cook with. She went to the spring at the back of the house and filled the tank from a bark bucket. And then she ran down to the river and pulled her daddy's left ear, the one that belonged to her to pull when she was good. Now come along and we'll draw all the leftover sound pictures, said her daddy. And they had a most inciting day of it and a beautiful lunch in the middle, and two games of romps. And when they came to tea, Taffy said that as her name and her daddy's and her mummy's all began with that sound, they should draw a sort of family group of themselves holding hands. That was all very well to draw once or twice, but when it came to drawing it six or seven times, Taffy and Tagumai drew it scratchier and scratchier till at last the T sound was only a thin, long Tagumai with his arms out to hold Taffy and Tashumai. You can see this from these three pictures, partly how it happened. Many of the other pictures were much too beautiful to begin with, especially before lunch. But as they were drawn over and over again on birch bark, they became plainer and easier, till at last even Tagumai said he could find no fault with them. They turned the hissy snake the other way round for the Z sound. Too many pictures. To show it was hissing backwards in a soft and gentle way, like this. And they just made a twiddle for E because it came into the pictures so often, like this. And they drew pictures of the sacred beaver of the Tagumais for the B sound, like these four pictures. And because it was a nasty, nosy noise, they just drew noses for the N sound till they were tired. And they drew a picture of the big L lake pike's mouth for the greedy gah sound. And they drew the pike's mouth again with a spear behind it for the scratchy, hurty ka sound, like this. And they drew pictures of a little bit of the winding Wagai River for the nice windy, windy wa sound like these, and so on, and so forth, and so following, till they had done and drawn all the sound pictures that they wanted. And there was the alphabet, all complete. And after thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and after hieroglyphics and demotics and nilotics and cryptics and cufics and runics and dorics and ionics and all sorts of other ricks and tricks, because the wounds and the neguses and the akhuns and the repositories of tradition would never leave a good thing alone when they saw it, the fine, old, easy, understandable alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, and the rest of them, got back into its proper shape again for all best beloveds to learn when they are old enough. But I remember Tugumai Bopsulai, and Tafimai Metulame, and Tashumai Twin Tawundro, her dear mummy, and all the days gone by, and it was so, just so, a long time ago, on the banks of the big Wagai.